So as you can see by today's intro, this house is a wreck and I need to get it in gear. So we're gonna be starting off here in my bedroom first. I just finished getting ready. I know a lot of people like to clean their like living room areas first because if someone came in, they wanna clean for some reason. I just like starting back here and then working my way across. So let's start in this bathroom. Okay, my dryer's on, so sorry if it's a little loud. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start this load of laundry so I can get it going. This is actually clean. I need to just go find my laundry basket. I think it's in Savannah's bedroom. But I hand washed the cardigan I wanna wear today because I didn't have time to actually wash it. So I washed it in my sink and it's in there drying. So I just threw all of this out because I kind of need it quickly before we go to lunch later. So I'm gonna start this load, find that laundry basket, and then I'll check on this and see if it's done yet. Okay, so I got all the laundry switched. I'm not gonna fold that yet because I'm trying to stay focused. So I'm gonna finish up cleaning out my bathroom and then we'll work on the bedroom. It's a nightmare and then we'll do laundry here in a little bit, but let's just keep up. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, my bathroom is all picked up. I'm not gonna like deep, deep clean it. I need to do that one day, but I'm just trying to put away all the messes that are out. But all the spots that were dirty are picked up. But now let's go into my bedroom and work on this.
Okay, I did wanna jump on here just real quickly. I feel like I've been getting a ton of questions about our comforter. We are still loving it. It is the softest comforter I've ever owned. And I had a lot of questions like, do we have to have it dry cleaned? We don't. So I throw it in the washer and the dryer. I've done that about three times since we've owned it and have had zero issues. They do have other colors. So I'll leave that link down below in my description box. It's super affordable off Amazon. Okay, so now that I have the room picked up, I'm gonna do some dusting. You guys always ask me if I dust, not as often as I should. So it's something that's so easy to do, and I feel like anytime you're around electronics, it gets super dusty. So right here by TVs, by computers, I really should dust more. And what makes it super easy are my e-cloth rags. Um, I do wanna thank e-cloth for sponsoring this part of today's video. If you guys have been around with me for the beginning, and I know some of you have, um, I had these before I even knew what YouTube was. So I love eCloth. Their whole system is their rags and all you need is water to clean. So when I found eCloth, I was a broke stay-at-home mom trying to do anything to cut back any budget that we had just to save some extra money. And I found the eCloth rags and I loved that I could wash them and reuse them so I wasn't going through tons of paper towels. I loved that I didn't have to buy products to go with them if you're on a tight budget budget or you're paying off debt. This is awesome. Even if you're not, <laughs> these are amazing. These are the best cloths you will ever find. Like I have a ton of different cloths in my kitchen drawer. These will make it years upon years upon years and they will look brand new on the last day that you're done with them, I promise. So if you need a really good high quality cleaning rag, I'll show you more as I clean my house right now. I just have the duster, so I have this one or they have a really cool um, glove one, which is so nice. This is even fun for kids. Give them a glove and let them go dust. Um, so whichever one you prefer, but with the dusters, you just kind of rub them to give them like some static and then they will clean up so well. Um, I do have a coupon code for you guys. It's Ashley Cleans and that will get you 15% off your order. I suggest getting the bundle. Like I got the whole set and I didn't have to rebuy them <laughs> until about a year ago and the rags still looked amazing. It's just, I felt like since I was going into my third house, I probably needed new rags to clean with. Um, um, but definitely check those out and I'll have the link down below in my description box. And now you can see how well these rags work. And all I'll do with the duster is kind of shake it out and then I can throw it in the washer. Just don't use softener. If you do, it's okay. Just next time you do it, you know, wash them on warm or hot water and don't use it. But you just wash them up. And like I said, they look amazing every time. Like they last so long. I'm super impressed with the quality of them. So these barn doors here attached to my bathroom get so dusty and it's just so satisfying to like 
take your rag and just clean it just like that. It's so bright in here, I'm not gonna be able to show you, but it gets so much dust. And I probably should have done this a while ago. <laughs> okay, let's look at this. There you go, just off two little strips. That's how much it got. Okay, so I'm done dusting in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and fold this laundry just so when I walk out of this room, I know it's like completely clean and I don't have to come back in here. So if you look out my bedroom window right there, you see a pile of dirt with a tarp over it. Um, we've been working on our patio makeover. I'm pretty sure that's going to be my next video, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, we've had a few holdups. This process hasn't been as smooth as our last patio makeover, so this is definitely just going to be stage one, and I'll explain everything that's going on over there, so definitely don't miss out on that video. Okay, so closet, bathroom are clean. Right here, my bedroom is clean. <laughs> I already feel so much better. I hate starting off the day that messy. My laundry room is clean. It's got laundry going, but what's new? Now let's head into the kitchen and living room. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution. Okay, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the snake plant. I love it. You cannot kill these things. Like, there's a lot of things I can't keep alive, but this snake plant I water about every three months. It can live in sunny places. It can live if you have a dark room. It doesn't need light. So if you're wanting to try out a real plant, definitely look into a snake plant and they grow fairly quickly. So this is my smaller one and it is growing so well and they get super tall. So definitely check those out. They're at Lowe's, Walmart, Home Depot, any store like that. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how you can clean your countertops with just water. So they have like a full set of these and they're all labeled. You can mix and match, but like this one, it does say kitchen cloth. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that or not. But right there, it says kitchen cloth. And it even has a built-in little scrubber. So if something won't come off. So I just get these warm water. You can use whatever water. I just like to use warm. And then you just kind of wring it out and then you can use it. What I like to do is fold it different ways. So I like to fold it like this. So the first time I can use this side, next time I can use this side, then I can like flip it, then I can fold it the other way, then I can even completely fold it outside in. That way you're not having to wash these every single time. You can just use a clean side of it and that will save your laundry too. And then when you have enough of them, you just throw them in the washer together.
always stay a little longer. We don't have a plan. Also, another little perk, when you're just cleaning with water, you can use that same product or rag on all your surfaces. So what I'm using on my quartz countertop, I can use on my wood table. You know, you can take it from room to room and you can just keep refolding it. So if you don't wanna take it from like your kitchen to your living room, just refold it. But you can just use that one product to go throughout your whole home. We are wanderers, nothing can stop us. 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 So once you are finished with this guy, if you're gonna reuse it, you can either take the tag and hang dry it somewhere. I like to throw it over just a bottle underneath my kitchen sink so it can dry out really well, or you can throw it in the wash, just whatever works best for you. So now we need to move on to my living room. As you can see, it's a little bit of a disaster. Um, we're working on our patio makeover. That's probably gonna be the next video you guys see after this one, so be on the lookout for that. But now I'm gonna go ahead and get this area cleaned up and then I'm gonna be breaking for lunch. <laughs> So this big box and that rug has to do with my patio makeover. So like I said, that should be your next video coming up. I'm so excited to share with you. Like I said, it's definitely not finished. We have a long ways to go because we've had a few hiccups along the way, but I'm so excited just to kind of update you on where we are with the process. So definitely stay tuned for that video. We are wanderers, nothing can stop us. 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 later now it is 1 15 we stopped and had lunch and then i ran and got my hair cut real fast if you guys are local check out family cuts it's ten dollars and i swear you're in and out in 10 minutes but now i need to head into chase's office i kind of showed him my intro his desk is so dusty and like his um, like monitor stand so let's go work in that room now I know I probably mention this every time I clean his office, but we still want to do an accent wall back there. It definitely needs to be get done. It's just a little boring right now, but our gears have just kind of shift with doing our back patio. So we're focusing out there, but eventually once things slow down, we definitely want to work on a few walls in this house. Um, I want to use wallpaper on some. I want to use, you know, faux wood accents. I don't know. I've got so many plans. There's just so little time right now. Close to me, feeling good, I've been 
so the next thing I want to work on are all these like Walmart and Ross bags. I swear I just cleaned these up in my last cleaning video, but we have so many, they're just overflowing. Um, I saw a TikTok or an Instagram reel, something where you fold these up to a much smaller and then they don't look like this. So we're gonna try that out today. Okay, so this is the technique that I learned on, I'm pretty sure it was a TikTok. It was either on TikTok or it was posted over on Instagram, but it's just a way to fold them up so they're a lot smaller. And the only thing I can compare this to is when we were all back in high school and we used to do like the football folded note when we passed it to our friends. That's what it's like. And it just makes it so much smaller and then you just tuck in um, the handles at the end. Definitely roll it towards the handle because that's what squeezes all the air out. But I'm really impressed with this. Okay, so this is the idea of it. I think the TikTok version looked a little nicer, but look how smaller that is than like a clumped up mess. And then you can keep these in probably a smaller bin. Like I don't know that I'd need that huge basket now. So I'm gonna try to go through all these sacks and work on it and get it into this shape. And it's like nice and secure. This is perfect to even put in your purse. Like if you have a nice purse that when it rains, if you don't want it to get wet, you could have this folded up in there. Um, so you could just pull it out and stick your purse in it. Or if you don't want your hair to get messed up, like who knew? Thanks TikTok. As you can see this first time it's a little time consuming because I have so many bags but like next time when I just have a few bags um, I won't have as many to do but you can see it's taking up way less space you could even have your kids do this for you I'm sure like preteens and some older ones could do this super easy because this is well I say we could as preteens I don't know if you guys remember folding notes like this in high school <laughs> so it's kind of that concept we're just doing it with Walmart bags now I had no idea how many plastic bags I was actually storing until I had to fold all of them up. I will say if any of them had like holes in them or were dirty or anything like that, I went ahead and just um, recycled them so they weren't in this basket. So it was just kind of a good time to go through. Some just were super old. I felt like they've been in there forever. I felt like they were falling apart. So this is just a good time to go ahead and declutter as well. Okay, so here's the after. Obviously they're not perfect, but it does take up way less space because this was like overflowing and this doesn't even fill halfway up. And you can still tell the sizes. So I can tell this is a bigger bag than like 
this one by the size of the triangle so you can kind of still reach in there and grab what you need um, and I did tuck most of my like labels on the inside if you wanted to leave like the red up so you knew it was Target or the blue to know it's Ross or whatever you could do that as well Okay, so that was so much work, but that was the first time. So I had the most bags. It'll be different if I come home from Ross and have like three bags, I can just fold them up and throw them in there. But the first time it does take a little work. I even called in like Chase and Savannah to help me because it was taking so long. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum down there real fast just because I felt like some of those had like dust and maybe some food in them from getting groceries and we were like shaking on them. So I'm gonna vacuum up my rug in this living room area real fast. Okay, now the next product we're gonna talk about is my e-cloth polishing rack. I love this thing. This is one of my favorite products from them. They're all amazing, but this is like the product I don't think anybody else can even top. So what this is good for is like windows, glass, anything like that where you don't want streaks. This works, you can either get a wet rag, like the same kitchen one and wipe it down and then use this to dry it. Or they also have um, these like spray bottles. These are seriously the best spray bottles too. Like they just have the best quality. I have a few of these and Savina always steals them. She loves using them for like her American Girl dolls hair just because the mist coming out of it is so perfect. So you can just like spray it down and then buff it out with this and you will never have a streak again. So that's what I'm gonna go work on now. today's video right here. I hope you got lots of cleaning motivation. It feels so good to have my house back in order. Um, don't forget to click on the e-cloth link down below if you want to order something or read more about their products and use that coupon code Ashley Cleans for 15% off. Another product that I love from them is their mop and it's the same system once you buy it. All you do is use water to clean your floors and I love it. I've used it in all three houses and I've never used anything different and I'm so happy with it. So definitely check that out down below in the description box and I will see you in the next one. Bye.